Um, uh, I think I'm just going to read one of my favorite familiar numbers. I'll be reading Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, I say again, surely right, goodness now. and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I have read Psalms 1 through 6. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers and most of all the doers of his holy word. I'm going to ask Brother Deacon Donald to come and pray for us this morning. And now I think everybody's singing. Let's all pray together. Our gracious and merciful Father, it's again that we come thanking you for allowing us to see another day. But we recognize we're not taking it for granted. It's only through your grace and mercy, Father. And Father, we thank you for the opportunity to just to be in the house of the Lord. We ask that you be with every member individually and then collectively, Father. For you know our needs and our challenges. And we ask that you bless us the way that you see fit, Lord Jesus. Father, we ask that you remember those that are sick and shut in. And those who know you not as their personal Savior, Father, have it to one day that they'll come to know you before it's everlasting too late, Father. Father, do we ask that you remember those that are on the streets and the byways and have mental issues, Father. But we know that as you being the God that you are, you'll make everything right when it's your time, when you feel it's necessary, Father. Father, we ask that you'll be with this service throughout this day. And bless all those participants, Father. We ask that you bless our pastor and the message that he, or, that he will be bringing today. For we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>
How many really grateful that the Lord loves you? He looks beyond our faults and he supplies every one of our needs. I had to tell somebody that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. So your walk may not be my walk and my walk may not be your walk. But God is still good, amen? How many know that he made the difference in your life? The song simply says that if it wasn't for the Lord, where would I be? I don't know about you, but I would be a wretch undone, amen? But what a change that came in my life. No longer am I comprising the wrong for the right. Here we go, y'all. If it wasn't for the Lord, if it wasn't for the Lord where, where would I be? My life was nothing, my life was nothing until, until he set me free. free. Now what a change.
Come on, put your hands together. I'm trying to find out. Did you hear what the choir said when they said he made the difference in my life? Y'all done got quiet on me. Let's try it one more time. Anybody know over he made a difference? Y'all ain't ready. Let me talk to y'all. Anybody I'm know? So glad about it. the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on, give him some real praise. Amen. I want everybody to stand. I want everybody to stand. I want everybody to stand. Everybody to stand. Now go to somebody and hug them and say, I'm glad we in church together. Hug you about three people and say, I'm glad we in church together. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, he made the difference. Oh yeah. music ministry is Amen. Amen. I like that kind of can on. Amen. I I think if you go to a party. You don't go to a party to be a wallflower. Oh, because the party don't stop over here. If you're gonna go to a party. You go to party. Oh, we go to party. We parties. Uh, are y'all going to help me here? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. If I'm going out to dinner, Lolo, I'm going to dinner because I'm going to eat when I get there. Because I'm going to eat when I get there. Amen. If I'm going to the ball game. Ball game. But right now, I'm going to the ball game because I'm going to cheer for the team I want to win. I'm so I just believe that if we come to church, we ought to come to have church. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I came to have church this morning. Uh, now go on and testify because the Lord been good to me. Go on and tell them, say, neighbor, I got three reasons why I came, I came to have church. Can I tell you why? Because the Lord, God, look at the point to him and say, because the Lord been good to me. Tell us that that's reason number one. Can I give you reason number two? The Lord been good to me. Y'all should have caught on by now. Reason number three. Point to him and say, the Lord been good to me. Amen. He's worthy of all of our praise. And we thank and we praise God for every good and perfect thing. The Lord is good. And uh, he's worthy to be pray. I was just thinking how good God is and how far the Lord has brought us from. And in spite of how things look, 
it could be worse. But how many of you know that God is a God is a healer? He is a healer. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. I see. Uh, Erlene, is that you back there? Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, I see Erlene Thomas in the house. We're praying for you. Uh, you may not have heard, but Erlene has cancer. Bless Jesus. Uh, but she don't want nobody to feel sorry for now, her. Now, right now. Because uh, she believes that God is a, is a healer. Yes. And we know what God can't do. It just can't be done. It just can't be, Reverend. Uh, I see Sister Carmilla Gibson in yes, the house. Yes, sir. Amen. She got word that her husband has cancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's almost inoperable. Oh my, can, oh my. But, but God yeah, he can, do it. can still perform yeah, surgery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sister Johnny Jackson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who's watching by way of our live stream. She's got cancer. Ooh, okay. But I told her, God still got you. Yes, sir. And we've got others with other vicissitudes going on in your life. But God is a is a healer. Yeah, yes. I don't think y'all heard what I said. I said, God is a healer. Uh, and every now and then, stuff gets helter-skelter. Life gets gangster sometimes. And you don't know how you're going to make it. But every once in a while, you just got to tell the Lord, lead me. <laughs> Guide me along Oh, if you leave Oh, I shall not stray with me. Lead me. Guide me. Lead me. Guide me. Oh, Lord. Praying for Sonny Fletcher. Oh, Lord. It's off the call time. Yes, sir. Ooh. 
Come on, church, we ought to say that one more time. It's feeling good to somebody right now. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ah. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. here and it's right now that a few of your humble servants have gathered as humbly as we know how. Dear Lord, no particular form or fashion, but first and foremost to say thank you for what you've already done in our lives. Because Lord, we realize if we're honest with ourselves that last night could have been all of our last night. But for whatever reason, Lord, you closed us in our right mind. You touched us with a finger of love, Lord. You allowed us to respond to the alarm clock. You blessed us to see one more day, and we just want to say thank you right now. Dear Lord, there are names that have been mentioned on this sick and shut-in list, and Lord, we lift, you up, we lift them up to you right now. And Lord, we have the abbreviated list down here with us, but you have the master list with you. And, and some are going through the storm and the rain, Lord. It may not be a physical struggle. It may be a financial struggle struggle it may be a relationship struggle but lord you said that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray but seek my face turn from their wicked ways you said that you would go to the father on our behalf and heal the land lord the land needs healing right now every time you turn on the television there's evidence that the land needs healing right now the Lord just touch in a mighty way. Lord, touch and have mercy. The Lord, we ask you to please keep your loving arms and protection around the pastor and the first lady of this church, Lord. Lord, you have allowed them to stand in the gap for 14 years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, and we say thank you right now. Thank you. Lord, we thank you also for Sister Irene who is now resting comfortably in Northern California. That's all right. That's all right. Lord, give the Wheelock family what they need to provide the best care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Sister Lynn, that she yeah, yeah, yeah. does double and triple duty, Lord. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, touch and please have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Dear Lord, those that are under the sound of my weak voice, those that are here right now, Lord, we may not all be going through the same things, but we all are going through something. Because if the truth was told, something is wrong with all of us. It's not my mother, it's not my father, it's not my sister, it's not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Lord, you know exactly what we all need. Lord, give us what we need. Lord, give us that peace that passeth all understanding. And dear Lord, when it's yours to call and ours to answer, Dear Lord, please save us a resting place with thee. 
will be able to give you the glory, honor, and praises that you're worthy of. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we say amen. amen. Say amen, church. Amen. Put those hands together. Give the Lord a hand and clap of praise. Amen. Some folk would rather have houses and land. Some folk choose silver, gold. But these things treasure forget about their soul yeah. I've decided to make Jesus my charge I got a witness in here somewhere come on preacher some fall would rather Houses and land. Mm -hmm. Some fall, they'll choose silver and gold. But these things they treasure, forget about. That's all I've decided to make Jesus my child. Oh, the road is right, the goal, and the heat. To make Jesus Just kind of point to somebody And tell us I got to tell you something Oh, the road is rough And the going gets tough And the hills are hard to climb Go tell them about yourself I started out a long time ago there is, there is no doubt in my mind I decided to make Jesus come on give God a hand and clap of praise our music ministry is now going to come back and uh, after which We'll have some crumbs that fall from the master's table. I kind of feel like preaching a little bit today. I'm kind of backed up. I ain't preached in about a month, so I'm not ready today. Is that all right? All right, all right. Y'all come on and do what y'all do.
Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we magnify your name. Because it is you that gives us everlasting life. Now, Lord, we thank you for all of your blessings. We thank you for the privilege just to be on your program. Now, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Somebody needs a word this morning. Have your way right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to be delivered. Somebody needs to be set free. Touch right now in Jesus' name. I've studied your word. I've prepared your word. But I can't do nothing unless the real preacher shows up. Have your way. And then, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our rock and our redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give God another hand clap of praise. If you have your Bibles, Acts chapter 16, Acts chapter 16, beginning with verse number 25, it's a familiar passage of scripture, going to ask if you would stand for the reading of God's word, Acts chapter 16, beginning with verse number 25 and verse number 26 simply says and at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. Everyone's bands were loosed. Help me tag this text. Turn to your neighbor. Smile at him and say, neighbor, I'm glad to see you this morning. I'm glad we're in church together. The pastor needs our prayers and all of our amens because he's going to preach about churching in chains. Amen. Churching in, in chains. When I first entered the world of martial arts, uh, I thought that within myself I could handle myself pretty well. And so I got on the floor with what was called youthful arrogance. I didn't care that the fella stood in front of me. Marsha had on a black belt and my belt had no color. I just knew in my mind I could throw them things. I was confident. Dante, I stepped out because the instructor said, step out and show me what you can do. And that's right up my alley. You must not know who I am. You, you, you must not know where I come from. I'm used to this. I know how to float like a butterfly. And sting like a bee. 
was out there on the floor all of about four minutes and 17 seconds. And all of a sudden, I never saw it coming. There was a foot right in my mouth. I was, I was flabbergasted. I was disturbed because Merriman, my lip was busted. I was dripping blood. My pride was in every drop of blood that fell on the floor. And I went, sat on the side, had a towel up to my lip. My pride was hurt. I even had red blood on my white belt. And after I sat there for a while, my instructor came over and said, are you going to quit? No, I'm not going to quit. He said, I want you to remember something. He said, well, I said, what's that? He said, nothing in life happens to you. It happens for you. But Don, I must admit, with a busted lip, blood on, on my new uniform, that I didn't quite get the message because I had a busted lip. And uh, I didn't want to go home and tell my wife that another man kicked me in the mouth because that might mess up my aura. Because my wife always believed that as a husband, I'm the protector. And I can throw them things. So I couldn't go home and tell her I got my lip busted. Because she had known of a few scuffles I'd had. Well, I had to put them things, David, on a few people. Uh, but I had to go home this day with a busted lip. And a word from my instructor that said, nothing happens to you. It happens for you. Y'all let me just build my case. I'm on my way somewhere. I, 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 I didn't like it, Michelle. It was, it was hard for me to grasp and grip because I told y'all I got a busted lip when I drink soda. I'm reminded of the busted lip when I ate pork chops and collard greens. I'm reminded of a busted lip. And when I went back to class, I had to ask him, I said, what did you mean by everything, the thing don't happen to you, they happen for you? He said, because now I will never have to tell you to get your hands up. Y'all might catch it. Y'all might catch it a little later on. Now, I have to testify. I didn't get another busted lip no more. Because I knew how to block and put my hands up. Because stuff don't happen to you. It happens for you. And some of life's greatest lessons have come at a painful price. Are y'all going to help me preach just a little while? I mean, because the sweet lessons that happen for in your life, we kind of ignore those. But can somebody just help me testify that you look back over your own life and the stuff that has caused you the most pain has taught you the biggest lesson. I wish I had about five of y'all. I'll make number six. Pain can teach you some things. Are y'all going to talk to me? Pain will make you recognize that you're not invincible. And sometimes God has to remind us that our trust is not in us because we're frail and we're fragile. But sometimes God has to remind us, I'll put you through some pain in order to let you know I'm up to something. And so I wanted to come and just talk with you for just a little while because, because it's easy to have church when everything is going well. It's easy to come and get your praise on when things are going well. But can you really have church when something is holding your hands down? 
Some of you walked in here today, you've got your own set of personal issues, your own set of life like vicissitude. But I stop by to tell you that when, that when you're in your worst hour, God is up to something. So, so I wanted to come and talk to you because, because when I look at the text, it kind of it makes me kind of think about something. Because in the text, Paul and Silas uh, get a call to go uh, from, Troas, from, to, from Troas to Macedonia. And when they get to Macedonia, they camp out in the major city in Macedonia called Philippi. And when they get to Philippi, let me tell you what happened. The first thing they do is they go down by the river and have a prayer meeting. Y'all ain't talking to me. Go down by the river, have a prayer meeting. Then when they have a prayer meeting, there's a, there's a, there's a young entrepreneur in town by the name of Lydia. Lydia. Lydia and her family wind up getting saved down by the river after Paul and Silas have a prayer meeting. Then while they in town, Mika, don't miss this. While they in town, there's a woman there who's got who's got who 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 who's got some masters that's making her to do fortune telling. Matter of fact, they was her pimps. Y'all ain't talking to me. They was getting money off of what she was doing, and Paul and Silas cast cast the demon out of her, and she stopped reading palms and start quoting scripture what the Lord had put on her heart. And then Paul and Silas, when they healed the woman, they wind up getting thrown in jail. I think I need to say that one more time. Can I break it down for you? When they get to Philippi, they go down by the river and have prayer. That's devotion. Y'all ain't talking to me. Then when, they, when, they, when Lydia and her family get saved because of Paul and Silas, that's called discipleship. Y'all ain't talking to me. And then when they cast the demon out of the woman and she becomes a normal factor in life, that's, ca that's called deliverance. Y'all slept on it. Let me try it one more time. And then they get put in jail. And look what they get put in jail for. Devotion? Y'all ain't talking to me. Discipleship and deliverance. Y'all ain't talking. They didn't get put in for rape. Didn't get put in for murder. Didn't get put in for bipping. Didn't get put in for stealing. They got put in jail for devotion. Y'all ain't talking to me. Discipleship and deliverance. And here is Paul and Simon in jail and they hadn't done anything wrong. Y'all see my dilemma with the text? Because, 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 because they're locked up in jail. And they hadn't done anything wrong other than have devotion, do discipleship, and bring deliverance. But the magistrates of the time got mad with them because they had gotten their ill-gotten gain cut off. Can I stop, stop by, can I tell you something? If you're working for God, rather than be in trouble with God, you ought to be in trouble for God. Y'all ain't talking to me because, because sometimes if you're doing, God's, you're doing God's will, your anointing will agitate some people. Why are y'all trying to get quiet on me here? And the enemy will come at you in all kinds of ways. He said, well, I can't, I can't, I can't get to you this way. I, 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 I'll do something else to Merriman. I, I can't get to you this way. I, I, I'll send a storm in David's life because I, I, I can't get to you this way. So I'll mess with CC's money because if I mess with her money, I might be able to cut her praise off. But the fact of the matter is God still moves in mysterious ways. And here is Paul and Silas. Now, now, don't miss this. Don't miss this, brother Donald. Don't miss this. Here it is. Check this out. They not just in jail, but in the Greek text it says they were down in a dungeon. They, 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 ain't, they ain't just in jail. They in what we call maximum security. They, 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 look at somebody say they in the hole. They, they, they down in the hole. And, 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 and the text says at Midnight. Now, now we read through that, and we read through that ad kind of quickly. But Martha, you hear me? It said, it said it was at at midnight. It, it, it was at midnight. Paul and Silas had a prayer meeting. Check it out, baby, bro. It was at midnight. Midnight is the most definitive description of time and time that we gonna ever have. Midnight, which means it's the middle of the night. 
Y'all ain't got it yet. It's midnight. It, it means it's, it's the death of today and the birth of tomorrow. Midnight. Y'all ain't talking to me. It, it means, it mean, it mean, it mean, although I'm catching hell, there's a new day about to dawn, but I'm still in the dark. Mid Y'all ain't talking to me. Midnight. And, and I stop by to tell you, if you can just hold on until midnight, it might still look dark, but because you can be on the dawn of a new day, but still living in the darkness of yesterday. We like you preaching up in here this morning. I know I'm preaching this thing. In other words, check it out. Y'all ain't got it yet. Paul and Silas is in jail, and it's midnight, and they having a prayer meeting. Y'all ain't got it yet. Let me, let me try it one more time. Early catch this. It's dark. But they having a prayer and praise session. Y'all ain't talking to me. I told y'all it's easy to get your praise on when everything is going in your direction. But do I have anybody who can get their praise on even when it's dark? You ought to just, can I get you to touch somebody, shake somebody's hand and say, neighbor, just because it's dark don't mean God ain't up to nothing. Sometimes God does his best work in a dark moment. Y'all ain't talking to me here. If I could just get to midnight, it's the death of yesterday, the birth of today, but it's the conception of tomorrow. Go on and preach, Todd Wheelock. I think I will this morning. In other words, if I can just hold out, just because it's dark, God is trying to let me know that the chains that's on me are not meant to kill me. They're meant to bring my development. Here's the thing. Linda, this is your point right here. This your, your point, Linda, your point. This is your point right here. Sometimes what God does, they're having prayer and praise at midnight. When we met them in, he got to Philippi, Paul and Silas was praying down by the wall. Y'all ain't talking to me. And, and, and here they are in chains in a dungeon and here they doing it again. They pray. Let me help you. You got to learn how to have the same attitude on a bad day that you got on a good day. Are y'all going to help me here? I wish I had somebody. Can you help me testify? Can you go on and help me testify? Point to somebody. Point to him and say, neighbor, it's dark on me right now. I got some dark stuff going on. I got some rough stuff going on. I got some gangster stuff going on. But when I look back over my own life, God is still good. You ought to shake somebody's hand and tell them, if he don't do nothing else for me, He's already done enough. As a matter of fact, he made one mistake. The devil made one mistake. He let me get alone in the dark so I could have a little talk with God. Uh, can I go on and tell it, Miller? Can I go on and tell it? Can I tell it? Can I tell it? I, I, Carmilla Gibson called me. Told me about the condition of her husband. And I had prayer with her. And uh, I told her, don't cry now. Don't cry. Y'all know she cry, baby. I told her, don't cry. She we had prayer, and I called her back the next day. Yes, I was riding down the street. I said, Miller? Yeah. I said, I just called to check on you. She didn't know it. I was calling to minister to her. But she ministered to me. Because she said, let me tell you what Miller said. She said, Pastor? Well, she said, Pat, she don't call me Pastor. She called me Sunshine. Because, you know, I just got it like that. You understand? She said, she said, Sunshine? I said, yeah. She said, she said, oh, um, I'm good now. I said, Miller, you good? She said, yeah, because I had a talk with him. I had a talk with God. And then that old song said, now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell us all about our troubles. He'll hear our faintest cry. He'll answer by and by. Feel a little prayer. Well, I feel it now, y'all. Feel a little prayer. We'll turn it. We'll know that a fire's burning. Just a little talk with Jesus. 
makes it right. I don't care how dark it is, prayer still works. Oh, I must be in the wrong room. I must be in the wrong room to have about 10 of y'all. I'll make number 11 who can help me testify. You know how to call his name. Can you help me testify? He may not come when you want him. But whenever he comes, he's always right on time. I've learned this, I've learned this, I've learned this, I've learned this, I've learned this. That, that, that when I go to the doctor, there's a doctor for everything. If my feet ain't right, I go see a podiatrist. If, if my heart ain't right, I call a cardiologist. Y'all still with me? If, 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 if I got some other issues, I call a specialist of that. If my teeth ain't right, I go to the dentist. Y'all still with me? But the good news is when I call on the Lord, I ain't got to remember all them other gods to call. All I got to do is just call his name. Y'all act like you don't know who I'm talking about. Is there anybody who knows his name? Y'all kind of quiet on me here. Uh, Big Mama called him bread in a starving land. Big Mama said he's a doctor that ain't never lost a case. I, 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 I can't remember all that. All I know is Jesus is the answer for the problem. And my, and, my, and my change in my life work for my development. But then not only text says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and the prisoners heard them. Not only is it uh, for my midnight, uh, for, my, for, my, for my development, but it's also so I can make a declaration because when it gets dark, there needs to be no doubt who you trust in. Y'all got quiet on me. See, see, I was I was watching um the uh, basketball games the other day and uh, March Madness going on, and uh, uh, I was watching some NBA games this past week. Must be that spring fever because everybody want to fight on the court. They want to fight. But but here's the thing, I was sitting down and I was I was I was watching and and, I, and, and this woman said, I don't know why. People got to fight at the game and look at them. All of them got to run out there. I say, well, that's the way you identify what team you on. Y'all ain't got it. She said, she said, what do you mean? I said, well, when I played ball, yeah. If one of my teammates got into it, I'm in it too. Y'all ain't got it yet. Let, let me say it one more time. If, if my teammate get in it with another team's play, I'm hitting him too. Because we're a team. Y'all ain't talking to me. Let, let me bring a little more hope. My dad, the oldest we lock in town at his day, said, 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 now if one of y'all get into something, I'm expecting everybody to get into something. Because it don't make no sense. He get beat up and you come home and ain't got a scratch on you. You, you, you both better get beat up because if you don't get beat up, if he get into something, you better jump in it too. Because if you don't come back with the other fella, with the other fella behind in your hand, I'm going to whoop everybody. Y'all ain't got it yet. If you're going to be on the team, you got to learn how to stand up for the team. So here's my problem. All through Acts chapter 16, and we know Acts is written by a fellow by the name of Luke. Y'all ain't talking to me. Luke said, when we went down by the water, we had prayer. When we testified to Lydia, her family got saved. When the woman was following us, we cast out demons. But here's what got me. Don't miss it. But Paul and Silas, they are in jail. I, I used to be slow too. Let me, let, let me say it one more. When they were doing ministry, it was we. When they was praying, it was me, we. When they were delivering folk, it was we. But now that they're in jail, it's them. I got a problem with that. 
Because if you with me, how come I'm the only one in trouble? Some folk are only with you when you're in your glory. Y'all ain't talking to me. Slap somebody a high five and say, if you can't be with me when I'm down, stay the hell away from me when I'm up. Because the fact of the matter is, I'm not going to be up all the time. I don't need you when I'm up. I need some folk to walk with me when I'm down. Can I, can I preach a little while? Have I got a witness here? Slap somebody a high five and just say, neighbor. I need some folk who gonna go through the storm with me. I, I need some folk who gonna go through the rain with me. I need some folk who when I'm in trouble gonna come to my rescue. And here's the declaration. Let me, let me drop this off. This, this free of charge ain't gonna cost y'all nothing. Everybody needs a silence in their life. Because silence is a ride or die. You don't just need a Luke. Because all Luke going to do is put your business on Facebook. Y'all ain't talking to me. All Luke going to do is be with you as long as things are well. But when stuff start getting gangster, Martin, Luke going to get gone. Y'all ain't talking to me. I'm so glad I done got rid of some loops in my life. Because what your chains are designed to teach you is who your silences are and who your loops are. It could be your wife. It could be your husband. It could be your brother. It could be your sister. I don't care who it is. I don't need you if you can't go with me when I'm down. I need somebody who's going to go with me when the hell hounds get on my trail. I don't need nobody who's just with me when I'm shining. I need somebody to help me when I'm down and out. You can't. You can't. I, I, I need some, some silences. Because here's what got me. They in jail. And the text says that they sang and pray. Now, I wanted to know, I know I was coming to the Antioch Church, and uh, I know y'all kind of try to be studious. And so I wanted to tell you what was going on. In the Greek text, there's a word called huma there, which means they sung a hymn. And and wasn't just any old song. It, it, it was a hymn. When you get in trouble, that's when you ought to be able to go to your song list. Because everything on your playlist ain't good for stormy weather. I wish I had some help in here. See, when I'm going through my storm, Beyonce can't help me. Y'all ain't talking to me. Well, when I'm going through my storm, I love Marvin, but Marvin and Luther can't help me out because I, I don't hear them saying when I'm going through a storm, I need to hear something like Precious Lord. Yeah, Father, I, I wish I had some help in this house. Father, I stretch. Uh, I need to hear. I, 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 I need to. I must tell Jesus. All of my trial, I cannot bear. The birth. I need to hear. God, me, oh, our great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren. I am weak. I'm starting to feel it now, y'all. But Thou art mighty. Hold me with Your power, bread of heaven. Feed me till I want. When I'm in trouble, I need to hear. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on a sparrow. And I know he, when I'm catching hell, I need to hear. I know the Lord will make a way somehow. I don't need, I don't need them little cute songs. I don't need them little toy songs. I don't, I, 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 I don't need to hear R. Kelly step, step, step. I don't need that. That ain't going to work for me. I need to know that he walks with me. He talks with me. And he tells me that I am his. Uh, that's my death. That I got to be who I am. 
when I got money in my pocket, or when I'm broke as I don't know what, I still got to trust that the Lord will make a way somehow. Y'all ain't talking to me. Here's the thing. We've dealt with the chains. They, for my development, they're for my declaration. But then thirdly, finally, I got to go. The chains is for my deliverance. Y'all ain't got it. Here it is. Because they locked Paul and Silas up. But here's the problem. They obviously didn't do good research. Because they locked them up. Not to kill them. But to stop them from praying and praising. Y'all ain't got it. They, 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 they locked them up to shut their mouth. But, but, but if they really wanted to shut their mouths, they wouldn't have put chains on their hands. They'd have tried to close their mouth. In other words, what Paul and Silas said, Brother Merriman, as long as I got my mouth, the key to life and death is in my tongue. Y'all ain't helping me here. As long as I got my mouth, it doesn't matter what happens with my hands because as long as I can sing and give him praise, I can still get delivered. Y'all ain't with me here. Because look what the text says. The text says at midnight, Paul and Silas pray and then an earthquake came. Y'all ain't got... I heard preachers say they prayed for an earthquake. No, that you don't pray for an earthquake. They prayed and, 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 and in their prayer, God sent an earthquake. Y'all done slept on the shout. In other words, you can't dictate how God is going to bring you out. Sometimes God's ways of bringing us out is in a messed up circumstance. I never understood it. Cece, I got a problem with it. Viola, so I got a problem. Sometimes God got some of the most twisted ways to bring me out of something. Because it's a, but look at that, an earthquake. Now, check it out. They down there praying. Now, they in a dungeon. The other prisoners can't see them, but they can hear them. Come on, go with me. I'm trying to close, y'all. They can't see them, but they can hear them. Which means that the folk who's in jail, who you listen until you pray, is in prison too. Y'all ain't got it yet. And here's the thing. I did some research. Check it out. Paul and Silas were Greeks, but they had Roman citizenship. Which, if they had just exercised their Roman citizenship, they never would have got locked up. But let me tell you what they did. And this shouted me. I'm going on in now because I'm getting happy. They went through unnecessary torture so that everybody else could get set free. I got to go now. I, I, I used to be slow too, but let me say it one more time. They went through something they didn't have to go through. So some other folk could get set free. Y'all ain't got it yet. Let me, let me try it one more time. They, they went through some unnecessary pain so that other folk could get set free. Y'all ain't got it. Y'all don't be that slow on me today. Don't that remind you of somebody? They went through unnecessary torture so that everybody else could get free. That's why when I come to church, my joy is running over. That's why when I come to church, my praise is not dependent on other people. But when I come before the presence of God, I have joy, unspeakable joy. Because maybe y'all ain't caught the punchline yet. But let me tell you, Jesus went to Calvary. You know what happened, don't you? They hung him high. 
Can I go on and close? They stretched him wide. And you know what happened, don't you? He dropped his head. And then he died. Didn't he do it? Because I heard the preacher say he died. Have a God a witness? I heard Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John say he died. Have I got a witness? They tried him in an unjudged court. And uh, my Savior, y'all ain't helping me. And your Savior, he died. Didn't he die? But oh, I'm so glad that's not how the story ends. They laid him in a barbered grave all night Friday. Are y'all going to help me? You know this is Palm Sunday. Y'all supposed to be happy about that. You know what happened, don't you? They laid him in a borrowed grave. Have I got a witness? The reason why it was borrowed because he knew he wasn't going to hold it long because he knew I only need a rental for just three days because early Sunday morning he was going to get up and say all power is in my hand have I got a witness so I'm closing now but as I leave you ain't God all Right. Y'all show sure it's quiet on me today. I know you got some chains on you. I know you got some chains in your life. But I told you that when they prayed, you know what happened, don't you? The earthquake didn't come necessarily to set them free. The earthquake came to knock the chains off. Y'all slept on that one. Have a guy in this. You ought to just shake somebody's hand. I said, neighbor, I've had some good days. Are y'all going to hear me? I've had some weary days. My good days, how do we my bad days? But I might as well tell you that storm that I went through. I'll be ready in a minute, Paul, and I'll be ready in E flat if you don't mind. That storm that I went through it, I th and folk thought it was for evil but God meant it for my good can I get you to help me preach to somebody shake somebody's hand and I want you to look them right now and say neighbor why y'all ain't got nobody let's try it one more time shake somebody's hand and look them right in the eye and tell your neighbor neighbor I had to go through it in order to get to my blessing but I'm going to tell you what the password is when you get in trouble you know everything got a passcode now and this might help you when all hell is breaking loose in your life I'm going to tell you what it is it's P-O-P-P -P. can I tell you one more time P-O-P-P P. Can I tell you what it is? It's fair. Oh, you ought to shake somebody's hand. Prayer over praise and prosperity. Can you shake somebody's hand and say, name? When I'm in my storm, I got to do some pop religion. I'm going to praise him all the day long. Have I got a witness? I'm gone, y'all. I'm not tired of fooling with y'all, but I'm in revival mode right now. Ain't God all right? Come on, Paul. Let's turn that corner. Uh, ain't God all right? Is there anybody here who can help me testify? You've been through some dark day. You've been through some hard trial. But can you help me testify? Serving the Lord. Ah, show him pay off after a while ain't God alright if you know he good to you can I get you to do something for me if the Lord been good to you can you walk over and grab 
you a shouting partner and don't hold their hand like you're scared of them and don't get somebody you walked in the building with walk home some of y'all ain't moving yet grab somebody and I want you to hold their hand and don't act like you're scared of them hold a hand like a child of God hold a hand like a testifying saint and a witnessing warrior hold a hand like you've been up and you've been down and look them in the eye and tell us their neighbor I'm coming to you not because everything is all right I got some storms right now I got some trial right now I got some tribulation but the one thing I still have out of all the things I've been through I still got my joy can you say joy 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 Joy, joy, ain't God all right? Shake that hand and say, neighbor, do you know who Jesus is? He's the bright and morning star. He's a rock in a weary land. He's a shelter in the time of storm. He's the bright one. He's a horse part in a valley. He's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Ain't he all right? And I'm going to trust him every day of my life. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him. Yeah. I don't care about the chains. I'm going to have church even when I got chains. Because praise confuses the enemy. I don't know who you are. You may have some chains on you right now. But guess what? Can I speak a word of deliverance to you? As long as you got your mouth, you got the key to make the chains fall off. I dare you. I dare you. Can I ask you a question? I dare you. I devil dog dare you. Tell God thank you. I dare you. Just get busy. Think about all he blessed you with. And tell God thank you. Oh no, you watch them chains gonna fall, they'll fall off. I dare just start telling him thank you right where you are. Don't, don't, don't wait on nobody to co-sign. Just tell him thank you. No, don't just clap over your mouth and tell him thank you. Tell him thank you for this. Thank you for that. Have your own praise moment right where you are. I know it's dark on me, Lord, but I still got more to be thankful about than I have to cry about. I thank him for my I thank him for my life I've already lived. I thank him for a few dollars in my pocket. I thank him for a roof over my head. Y'all ain't telling the Lord thank you. I thank you that I could have been dead a long time ago, but I'm still thank you because I ain't in jail no more. Thank you because I ain't on drugs no more. Thank you because my testimony is he got me off of drugs. My testimony is I ain't never been on drugs. Lift your hand right where you are and tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. I trust in God. The doors of church open. Wherever I may be, up on the land or on. The rolling sea. 
for come what may from day to day by heaven leave father watches all In God, I know He cares for me on mountain peaks, on the rolling sea. Keeps my soul, my heavenly Father watches all. Help me out, leader, today. Me, this is the part I like though. He makes the road. The object of his care. He guides the eagle through the pathless air. But this is the part I like. And surely he. My heavenly Father watches over me. Let me go and tell you what I'm going to do. I trust in God. Trust in God. <laughs> he cares. He cares for me. <laughs> on mountain peaks. Or on. <laughs> my, my, my. Billows, billows, billows. Billows roll. Church, can we put our hands together and give the Lord a hand clap of praise? Amen. Yes, sir. He cares. Cares for me. We the hands of our ushers in our office. Mountain peaks. Wrong.
Yes, sir. Right before offering time, First Lady Sister Lynn Wheelock has remarks she wants to make. Amen. Can we put our hands together as she comes? Come on, y'all can do better than that, church. Come on, put those hands together. Pastor Wheelock say that he is absolutely in revival mode. Amen. Amen. And I too am in revival mode. Absolutely. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it and I'm ready for it. Our citywide revival, as we know, starts this week. And so we have just a very few announcements, Sister, J uh, Sister Doubly and myself, and then this, that will be the final announcement before Thursday. First of all, I want to remind everybody that their tire is red attire for Thursday night. We're also asking all of our sisters to please, please, please bring $50 with you to put in the offering. If you don't have it, borrow it. No excuse. No excuse. Because if you were doing something else, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, whatever the case may be, I'm sure you will borrow it from someone else if you did not have it. Now, that's the limit amount. You can do more. You can do more if you, ha if you have it. More than, one, than $50, but we're asking for at least $50, all right? All right, I think that's, those are the two announcements that I have. Uh, sister, you can come up? Okay. Sister W is going to come up now, but I hope to see you all not only on Thursday, but I hope to see you all Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and hopefully Friday. So the $50 is just an additional amount to what you all are going to bring on Tuesday and Wednesday and Friday. Amen. All right. Thank you. Good afternoon. So this is Women's History Month. You already know this. And our pastor has, is going to make history. The first time in the citywide revival, we're going to have a, a female, a woman minister preaching. And it's because of his, his ministry here at the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. So since we're celebrating women, we decide to pin you all together. So when you come in on Thursday night in your red eye outfits, please stop by the back table and pick up a pen so we can unify everybody and pin you all together. Okay. So hope to see you on Thursday night. Pins go on your left side above your heart. Okay. Praise the Lord. Let's give it up for Sister Wheelock and Sister Dublin. Come on. Now look, now look. It's going to be historical. It's going to be off the chain. Uh, we've got some of the best preachers in this whole country going to be sharing with us uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday night. Our evangelist will be the Reverend Dr. Frederick Douglas Haynes III of the Friendship West Baptist Church of Dallas, Texas, and also the CEO of Rainbow Push Coalition. Amen. Um, um, if you heard him last year, you already know he's off the chain. And then on Thursday night, uh, history is going to be made. And let me tell you why I'm so excited about it. History is going to be made, and it's going to be a homegirl making history. You know, Oakland really don't have to go nowhere to find greatness. We got to learn how to appreciate our own right here. Uh, we don't need no singers to come into Oakland and do no singing. We got the best singers right here. Matter of fact, I don't know if you realize it or not, but the transition of gospel music into contemporary music started right here with the Hawkins family. So we, we got gifts all up in here. But to have Women's History Month, our uh, citywide revival making history and to have a homegirl pastoring uh, one of the most historical churches in the country in the Allen Temple Baptist Church, the Reverend Dr. Jacqueline Thompson is going to be our guest. And we thank God for her. We thank God for her spirit. And uh, don't, don't let nobody fool you. The devil is busy. The devil is busy. Let me say it one more time. 
the devil is busy. I, I got a call from her this week, and I want you to, to lift her up in prayer. Uh, somebody sent an anonymous letter to her church trying to discourage her from coming, said some very disparaging things, attacked her ministry, and she called me on the phone. And I said, well, Jack, are you all right? She said, she said, Pastor, I've been doing this over 25 years. A woman in ministry, I'm calling to make sure you all right. I said, look here, I know how to survive in the briar patch. I was born and raised in the briar patch. So a little controversy ain't never scared me. And understand this, you coming to the Antioch church. Don't nobody tell me who I can have preach at the Antioch church. So, so look, it's going to be off the chain. We're going to have armed security here the whole week. Y'all ain't got to be scared to come to West Oakland or none of that. It's going to be on and popping. Now, now, I was teasing some people. So they said, you're going to have armed security. I said, yeah, it'll be some in uniform, and there's probably going to be some there out of uniform. Because uh, you know you come in Antioch, and uh, everybody in Antioch don't just care a Bible. It's a blade. It's a... <laughs> You know, they're going to be strapped over here in West Oakland, so, uh, 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 you know, you know folk, folk be strapped over here in West Oakland now, you know. Uh, I, say, I told them, I said, now don't always look at the men. You better look at some of them women, because them going to be the main one ice pick you or something like that, so, um, I, I mean, you know, so. But look, all joking aside, we're going to have a marvelous time. Antioch, I need you to be in the house. Uh, we start at 645 each night. Let me tell you something. On yesterday at choir rehearsal, revival broke out. Our praise and worship team and our choir is ready. They're going to be off the chain. It's going to be on and popping up in here, up in here, up in here. So let's, let's come, let's celebrate, and let's take this thing to a totally different level. Amen. And on Friday night, all young adults and, you, and young people, y'all need to be here, man, because this dude, Michael Fisher, is off the chain. He going to do the doggone thing and it's going to be off the chain. So we're looking for y'all to be here. Now the devil... Uh, uh, the picture ain't big enough on that one, so... Uh, I wonder when my, when my picture on the big pretty one got my picture big, pretty picture me on there. Uh, that, that picture wasn't big enough. The, 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 everybody else picture on there was bigger than mine. I need Shell, mine. Shell, find that picture. <laughs> find that picture, Shell. I'm having fun, y'all, but uh, again, we're going to have an awesome time. Amen? Amen. And let me say this one more time. Thank you all for a marvelous anniversary and appreciation. We thank you so much. Amen? All right, all right, all right. Now uh, it's time for our tithes and offerings. Oh, this afternoon, um, Reverend Michael Robinson will be celebrating 20 years at the Little Valley Church and we're allowing him to use our sanctuary. And so, and so, and so. And, and let me tell you something. That's the key to being blessed is, is allowing people to enjoy your blessings. Because when you let people enjoy what the Lord has blessed you with, you open up the avenue to get another blessing. So he asked me the second year we've done this, we're going to let him use our church to have his appreciation. And so we thank God for that. Amen. Our praise team is going to open up and it's going to be on and popping. So let's come back and celebrate with him because whenever we call Pastor Robinson, he shows up. Amen. And, and, and by the way, uh, his son, the Reverend Michael Boone, uh, is going to be doing the preaching. So if you've never heard him, you owe it to yourself to come here. He He's a bad little old fella. Amen? All right, all right. You still ain't found the picture. <laughs> We're in the hands of our ushers and officers. Amen?
Yes, I can. Oh, yes, sir. Come on, Paul. Oh, I love that over my life. And I hold on. Oh, I can do this in that dark. Oh, I got a dressed up bowl. Come on, Paul. together for our ushers and our deacon church. Come on. picture still saying that no I mess with y'all but look that that's that's the fly but uh y'all look at our senior ushers back there amen amen y'all ushers stand up for a minute can y'all stand up for a minute y'all look at our senior ushers uh hold on Paul I ain't seen y'all march in a minute I ain't seen y'all march come on come on y'all y'all can make one come on Come on, y'all. We gotta hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Everybody stand up for the usher. We gotta hold it up. We are soldiers in the army. We gotta fight. Oh, no. We gotta hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. We gotta hold it up. Our soldier in the army. We gotta look at him, look at him, look at him, oh, look at him. We gotta hold it up, hold it up. Hold I'm having fun now. We gotta hold it up. Yes, sir. I'm gonna see if y'all gonna get that pivot right, though. We are soldier in the army. We gotta fight. Oh, no. We gotta hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. We gotta hold it up. <laughs> oh, look at the pivot, y'all. We are soldiers in the army. Louise, you gonna pivot? We you gonna pivot? Fight. Let me see, Louise. Oh, no. Go, we. We gotta Miller, hold it up. you gonna pivot? Up, you gonna pivot? It up, hold it up. Look at him. Ed, we you got to pivot, man. Like, show him how to pivot. That's a we soldier. are soldiers in the army. Ah! We gotta fight. Oh, no. We gotta hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. We gotta hold it up. <laughs> yes, sir. We are soldiers in the army. We gotta fight. Thank y'all. Oh, no. We gotta hold it. Come on, can we put our hands together, give the Lord a hand clap of praise, amen? Amen, God is good. Take your seats for a second, amen? Amen. You know, we have to always welcome our visitors, amen? You know, it's always good to have visitors, you know that? Even at home, it's good to have visitors, but sometimes we want folk to call before they come. Can't say amen, say ouch. <laughs> but any and everybody is always welcome in the house of worship, amen, and especially to the Antioch Baptist Church. So if there's any visitors that would like to stand 
and share. Uh, I, I see two faces that look very familiar to me. And um, any visitors, if you would like to stand and uh, have words, we would love to have you speak. Amen. Bless you, bless you, amen. God bless you. What's up, Dre? <laughs> yes, sir. Amen, amen. Church, can, can we put our hands together, church? Amen, amen. My roots go back to Palmasia back in 2007. I was the youth and young adult pastor for three years. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And, and, and if you don't have a church home, I'm just saying, Antioch is a wonderful place to be. Amen. Amen. God is good. There's nothing else to gain our attention. Reach out and touch. Can you stand? Somebody's hand. Make this world a better place. Come on, y'all. Oh, I said reach out and touch. I'm not going to stop till y'all sing it. Oh, make this world. I can't hear y'all out there. Oh, reach out and touch. Come on, y'all. Oh, make this. Come on, they need to hear us across the, the street in the park. Come on, one more time. Oh, I said, reach out and touch. And this. I know y'all getting tired. We're going to say it one more time. Come on, yeah. One more time, said, reach out and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make this world a better place. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we've come to the close of another worship service, Lord, we say thank you for this day. Lord, we say thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. And, and, and for, foremost, Lord, we pray that what we've done and what we've said has been found acceptable in thy holy sight. For in your word, dear Lord, you said that if when we get together, if it's not done for your glory, it's all done in vain. And dear Lord, we don't want our worship, we don't want our time spent to be found in vain. So Lord, we pray that you're pleased with our reasonable service. Dismiss us from this place, but never from your presence. And if it's your will, dear Lord, bring us back together without the loss of one. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray and forever give thanks. Church, say amen. Amen. Look, look, as we go, as we go, don't forget revival this week. But next Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. You remember how people used to come to church on Resurrection Sunday and church used to be full why don't you gather your family and let's worship together on Resurrection Sunday. We're going to have a, an awesome time. And uh, I just believe it's going to be a word from the Lord come from somewhere. Amen. Amen. Hug three people say, I love you whether you like it or not. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on.
Hold on. Okay, okay. Louise wanted to remind me to sing happy birthday to all of the March birthdays. Is your birthday in March, Louise? No. Okay. Louis. Oh, Sister, Sister Carmilla. Louis. Louis. All right, Paul, give me a happy birthday. Okay, let me warn this back up. Huh? I got to turn it back on. He got to cut the organ back on. Okay, let's just do it. Paul, lead us in it. That's an old school version. Happy birthday. Come on, y'all. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. We love you. God bless you here.